you sure you need this for the ship? Good yeah, Harvey. Be bloody hard to go after Hit Diesel. Hey, Carl, I'm in. But you want to get out of move out there. I'm all for escape. I just don't know if we can afford to spend the year. Hey, Carl. I'll get on my side and be smart again. I've heard that one before. Good prices. That is a... That's the place we got a ticket to. Collector's Emporium. Oh. Hey, my group was supposed to wait here for me, but, uh... They must already be inside. Yes, we do. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to meet somebody inside there. Let me in. Let me in. No. Hey, how do I look? Amazing, as always. You're gonna kill on the dance floor. As long as you're dancing beside me. Of course I will. We're the Toe Tappers. I still think we need to workshop the name. The name isn't as important as the moves. And we've got those. Hey, so this person is blue and they're a Nova Corps. They come from the same place that Corel and Nikki come from. <laughs> the blue people. <laughs> that sounds incredibly rude, but you know what I mean. Hi. Hi. This place must be good. Look at the line to get in. the daddy to hurt you, son. Rallo? Yeah, he's Hi. Hard work keeping this place up and running. But it's one of the only honest jobs available. Like I always say, shortcuts end up hurting you more than helping. Good advice. I'll try to remember it. Hmm. This place must be good. Oh, there's a lottery here. Nowhere lottery. Lottery tickets! Lottery tickets! Current jackpot! Estimated at almost five million units! That's a lot of units. To substantial taxation and a heavily scrutinized background chart. Whoa! To those who lie. Tickets for the next draw are still available. You can't win if you don't play. Okay. Can I interest you in a lottery ticket? The jackpot is five million units and climbing. Do you say five million? Imagine what you could do with that. Pay off crippling debt. Pay Corel, fix up the Milano, give the team a huge bonus. Are you ready to buy for the jackpot of a lifetime? How will I know if I win? You are encouraged to return to nowhere to verify your ticket. After verification, and an excessive verification fee, the jackpot will be transferred to your account. This seems really sketchy too. The guy next to me just said the shortcuts are no good. I get the feeling they're trying to give me ways for me to waste away all my money so I can't pay the fine. <laughs> um, but it's kind of on brand though, you know? Just wasting away money. <laughs> uh, hold on to it for a little bit longer. I'd hate to win and then not show up on time to claim the prize. I'll pass. Exactly. I'll have a look around first. 7,000 units, so we have... We have 5,000-ish. That we can spend around here. You want to break into Emporium? Have Collector and Cosmo on her tails for the rest of her lives. You see me, I will. Where Marcy Odo and his sweater, Miss Sacrum Welty. Still not sure. Exhibit of Wonders. Wait, we're trying to get to the security tower here. This is not where we're supposed to go. Okay, so we can go here. Make sure you don't cause any trouble. You won't get any special treatment, Terry. You're wrong about that. Me and Cosmo understand each other. Don't be so sure that you'll get special treatment based off that. Cosmo might understand you, but you have no idea what he's about. Wanna grab a drink? Hey, 
Mr. Tiven. This guy's a debt collector. Look at the eyebrows, my god. No way. It's strictly off limits. I'm not risking my life in jail to see some ruins. <laughs> some ruins inside some celestial being's brain. Don't mind me. I'm just looking for my lost ticket. Don't suppose you could help me? I'll make it worth your while. Nice try, but I'm not <laughs> falling for that. Not again, anyway. <laughs> if you aren't going to help, then get out of here. You're scaring away the roots. Everybody's a scammer here, we gotta be careful. I'm dumb, I'm an idiot, but I should be pretty street smart, hopefully. Yeah, our main goal is over there, so so this should be okay. Welcome to the Emporium gift shop. Oh my god, what why are the eyes What's inside here? Collection of gifts in the galaxy. Ah, oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. You, lucky traveler, have arrived at the illustrious Emporium. Private collection of Canelier Tivan. That's a seller! The premier, premier, premier exhibit of Great wonders in the galaxy. In Most the galaxy. would hoard these treasures, but not Mr. Tivan. He is so, so, so generous. He wishes to share them with the common people. Would you, 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 like? To take to the the tour. Gift shop. I'd love a tour. Oh, I have this. Think I get in for free, Thanks. right? Collection oh my! You must be a very important person. Mr. Tivon does not give these out very, very, very often. Please enjoy the Emporium. Oh, otherwise it would be 5,000 units? Oh my god. Are you okay in there? It seems a little bit... Just a bit, a, a bit cramped. Oh, this is the exit, right? Commemorate your visit with a unique souvenir. Unknown species. Welcome to the Emporium. I do hope, hope, hope you enjoyed the Emporium. Be sure to come back soon, as you never, never, never know what you might find. I haven't gone in yet. Commemorate your visit with a unique souvenir. What is this place? You have stumbled into the wonderful Emporium's gift shop. Would you like to purchase a souvenir? We have some very unique items. Maybe. What kind of things do you sell? Replicas of very rare items. Figures and effigies from lost civilizations. Objedar, in other words. Figures? Like dolls? Oh. There's a member of my crew, a woman, who might like that kind of thing. A boorish person might call them dolls. But that is neither here nor there. Tell me more about this person. She, uh, also likes swords. Oh, not what does she like. What is she like? Oh, distant and tough. But I think maybe there might be some squishy bits in her somewhere. Definitely. Ah, I believe I have the perfect item. What do you think? Would you like to make a purchase? 50,000 units, I can't afford that. What even is that thing? This is the only thing I can afford. It's... Kinda creepy looking, but... Oh, this is a scam, man. This is a gift shop at a museum! Of course it's gonna be a scam. But Gamora might like it. Eh, we do have a bit of money. Maybe it's okay. It's just the right kind of creepy. She should love it. A magnificent choice. 
I presume you will forgo the silk gift wrap. Yeah, this is fine as is. Very well. Enjoy your purchase. Good day. Thank you. I don't want to waste all of my money. We might still need to pay off the fine later on, you know? Oh, great! Yeah, okay, maybe that kind of looks like Gamora, you know? Enjoy the wonders of the Emporium. Oh, cool. Richard Ryder's Nova Helmet. Leader of the Galactic War Resistance and hero to countless races, the man so embodies Nova Corps that he rebuilt it from its ashes and chose Nova as his own moniker. Typically, I do not associate with law enforcement, but this relic was donated by Ryder himself just prior to his disappearance. You see before you his original helmet, which has a direct connection to the Zendarian world mind. Ryder claimed he upgraded to a new helmet with its own Nova Force reactor to make the world mind shut up. I think he enjoyed the idea of them blabbing away in some stupid museum. Delightful. So we had we had the Nova Corps to begin with, and then this guy broke off from Nova Corps and made the resistance. Fancy. I wanna see it first. Wait, I wanna see the thing first. Don't just show me the text. <laughs> Ultimate nullifier. Oh yes, the most destructive weapon in the entire universe, and I have it. On loan. From Galactus, in the hands of an immensely powerful being with an exceptional mind like Galactus, the nullifier could detonate entire solar systems, even timelines, perhaps even reality itself. I have been entrusted with its temporary safekeeping, though I hope the world devourer will forget he left it with me. If I were to ever attempt to use it, he would instantly summon it back to himself. So feel free to admire the potential end of life as we know it, while it is still in my possession. Can I can't close the the text. Like, I'm pressing R right now, but it's not closing out. Guess we can look at it like that. Spooky, spooky devices. Somebody's sword. Huh, interesting. Hey, let me look at it. Hofund. Sword of Heimdall. Master crafted by the dwarves of Nidavellir. This Odin blessed sword was gifted to his gatekeeper, Heimdall. Any god-wielded weapon is a centerpiece in one's collection, but Hofen possesses numerous magical talents, including the ability to open the Rainbow Bifrost Bridge to any of the Nine Realms. A shame it's not in mint condition, but if you look closely, you may be able to spot the hate-filled bloodstains of Mangog on its broken blade. Cool. A book that says SRA on it. No way! How'd they get that? Superhuman Registration Act. Many of my visitors pass right by the simple document, but you have a keen eye. It's actually a prophecy transcribed in trance by the frothing monks of Seknar 5. Oh, there are other Seknarfs, okay. One should take it as a warning since their prophecies are rarely wrong. This one speaks of a world where those gifted with powers fight amongst themselves, divided in a bloody civil war that will risk the destruction of everything they swore to protect. You may wish such a thing does not come to pass, but its value will increase exponentially if it does. I will cheer for the Civil War. Is this talking about the MCU movie? Yeah? Avengers? Hmm... Arrows? Dude, no way! Yaka Arrow, a rare Centaurian weapon added to my collection with the arrest of the Ravager Pirate Lord Yondu Udanta. These deadly arrows can be propelled and directed to tear through enemy forces with specific whistle pitches from its wielder. Their opponents now know to aim for the mouth or face swift destruction from these nasty little things. It is unknown whether races outside the Centauri can command such a device, but feel free to whistle at it and see what happens. I assure you, all are safe within these walls. I hope so. Some kind of sunglasses? I don't get it. Cosmic glasses. If you see a relic before you, you're in luck. Occasionally, a pair of lenses manifest eyewear that belongs to a powerful cosmic entity, seemingly capable of being anywhere in the galaxy at any given time. He has appeared throughout history in multiple worlds, and I suspect he will continue to do so throughout the future as well. Though we do not know his motives, many believe this mysterious being has had a profound impact on our galaxy. Excelsior. Oh, is this a Stanley reference? Because he always has, like, cameos in all the movies and stuff. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Wait. That's not good. This, there's nothing in this one. Oh god. Brood Queen, you see before you the deadliest of specimens taken from Brood World, an infant queen embryo extracted from her unfortunate host. Within that armored skull lies a fully developed predatory brain, eager to conquer us all and use our bodies as breeding grounds for her parasitic spawn. I assure you she is heavily sedated and quite harmless now, but please do not tap on the glass. Um... Maybe we should leave soon. This is a hammer. Is that Thor's hammer? Kinda neat. Frog Yulnir. It is easy to underestimate the raw power of this relic due to its minuscule size. Frog Yulnir is said to be an unintentional gift from the Asgardian God of Thunder, or rather his goat, whose errant hoof strike chipped off a tiny piece of Thor's own hammer. Although I'd rather have the full-size Mjolnir in my collection, Frog Yulnir did grant its bearer powers identical to Thor himself. It's also ridiculously adorable. Even with Hyde's formula, I cannot lift it. <laughs> Chair? And then some kind of a mystical looking tomb. Oh, cool. Cagliostro's book. Il libro di Cagliostro. Rolls right out of the tongue, but beware not to speak the forbidden words within, within lest you summon extraplanar fiends. This legendary spellbook is a trove of miraculous magic, unspeakable curses, and unthinkable peril. Mine is more than just a copy, spawned directly from the original in some weird self-preservation ritual. You could say that I safeguard the backup copy, should the original ever tear a hole in reality itself and wink out of existence. It's gotta be a bug. I wanna like see it without the text, but it won't let me close it. Kinda neat. King's time chair. Everything about this chair and the man who sat in it is soaked in temporal anomaly. Don't worry, I've had it thoroughly cleaned. Constructed by a scientist from the far future, this magnificent device allowed him to build a violent legacy stretching backwards and forwards across time. Calling himself Kang the Conqueror, his time stream manipulation united thousands of alternate Kangs who created warring councils of Kang. I was able to procure this device after two Kangs killed one another. Finders keepers. <laughs> cool chair. This is an eyeball. No way! How'd they get that? Eye of the Watcher. This oversized orb is the plucked eye of a Watcher, one of the universe's oldest and most powerful races. Their decision to intervene on behalf of less advanced worlds once resulted in great catastrophe, so they have taken a permanent vow to not meddle in our affairs. Apparently, someone meddled in theirs. Presumably to harness the Watcher's incomprehensible powers, it is safe for now in my collection, content to return your curious gaze. Does it see you back, I wonder? I hope not. Ew, you can see like the, the little veins on the side, on the back too, kind of. It's redder. Oh, it's a full-blown museum here. I don't get it. Cosmic Cube. What if you could wish for anything? This cosmic cube would bend reality itself to make it so. Whoa. It is perhaps the most important part of my collection as I have used it to secure each and each of my artifacts and protective pocket realities. You may look, but you have no hope of ever touching. I will not wish more from it, because it whispers to me with the voices of past owners, including one of a particularly infernal temperament. I am content to admire from afar. Like magic? Stuff that seems like magic, I don't know if it's magic officially, but... That sort of stuff is commonplace in this universe here. And these triangles might not even be in our own universe. Different reality. Like an axe? Huh, interesting. Blade of Ikor. Ichor? Perhaps Blades of Ikor is a more appropriate descriptor since the divine weapon can be divided or reconfigured into multiple lethal instruments due to its divine liquid metal core. Before I was able to procure them, they were wielded by an angel from heaven. Or was she an Asgardian, Queen of Hell? One thing is clear, Aldrif Odin's daughter. Angela, for short, used the blades of Ikor to, several, to sever countless limbs from sinners and heathens across the galaxy. She would not hesitate to claim my own limbs should she and her weapons be reunited. Well, let's not do that then. Let's not reunite them. Are those hands or gloves? Fancy. Mandarin's rings. Ten potent weapons, one for each finger, crafted from gems that once belonged to a mighty Mechluan dragon race. It is said that each contains the soul of a legendary warrior, and each has a unique power. 
The real fun comes in combinations, darkness and extreme cold or fire, and blinding light. Perhaps a lightning-filled vortex, disintegrate a foe while controlling their mind, blow them up, and then put them back together. The Mandarin was not eager to part with these rings, but my hired help was able to take them off his hands. Ah, rings, like finger rings. I just watched Shang-Chi yesterday. And I guess in the MCU adaptation, they thought that maybe rings on a finger is too close to the whole like Infinity Stone stuff, so they made it like bands on um like bracelets on your arm. Ooh, someone's bonsai stuff. Dude, no way! Monster from Planet X. This one hurts. I used to be in possession of the galaxy's last flora, Colossi, the sole survivor of Planet X's destruction. The enormous plant creature called itself Groot, often. During its escape, I was able to sever and retain a small piece of its wooden body. You may see a simple sprout. I see the potential to regrow my lost prize, though he will be far less precious with the original running loose. Groot! No! Someone took a piece of you. But it's not really growing though, it's just like the small thing. I don't get it. Raptor Amulet. Truly a strange fruit plucked from the trees of shadows and null space. The Shi'ar fraternity of raptors use these mysterious amulets to swap their biological bodies for cybernetic ones. With these sleek battlesuits, the raptors were gifted with rapid interstellar travel, extreme strength, resilience, regeneration, and destructive energy blasts. I am told it will also tune you into the Data Song, a type of shared consciousness. I do not like to share, so the amulet remains safely on display. I can tell you don't like to share. This guy's a collector, not a sharer. An a sword? A cane? No way! How'd they get that? Fire Lord's cosmic staff, burning with the intensity of a solar flare at each end. This artifact channels a power cosmic and was originally wielded by a hot-headed herald of Galactus. Its former owner, Fire Lord, once scouted the galaxy for the world devourer's next meal. At some point, they must have had a falling out because I was able to procure this gorgeous implement of destruction for the low price of an entire planet. I would have gone as high as three. Wow, aren't you generous? Does anybody even own planets? If not, then you're you're destroying some other person's planet. <laughs> uh, a crown? Huh, interesting. Tiara, Snowbird's tiara, the tiara of Naria, a mystical shape changer conceived to battle the great beasts menacing our homelands, rebranded as Snowbird. Naria fought alongside a team of superpowered Terrans named Alpha Flight. However. As a spiritual protector of her territory, she was unable to leave its borders, that is, without the device you see before you. I'm told its components were built from the very soil of Canada, which allows her to carry her home with her. Regrettably, she has not shown up to claim it, so it remains a part of my collection. Oh, it's from the mystical Canada. What is Canada? I don't know, man. Never heard of that planet. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Dude, no way! Throg, frog of thunder. You might think this is the god of thunder transformed into a frog. It's actually a frog transformed into the god of thunder. One of several gods of thunder, to be precise. This tiny fellow packs quite a punch, matched only by his thunderous croak. Captured after decimating an entire Badoon fleet with only one throw of his mighty hammer, Frog. Oh, that's what that is! Frog Yulnir. I selfishly bailed him out of prison and found him in a permanent home here, in my collection. If he tells you otherwise, do not listen. His guardians are known for their devilish pranks. <laughs> the hammer on the other side, that's yours? Are you even alive anymore? I don't know. Kinda neat. Hide formula. We just heard about this, right? Occasionally, the Terran mind is capable of exceptional brilliance. Take Calvin Zabo, for example. Through chemistry, Zabo believed he could push the human body beyond its accepted limits and created this potent serum. Upon imbibement, his musculature rapidly expanded, enabling his brutish alter ego, Mr. Hyde, to hold his own against some of Earth's greatest champions. Zabo now wastes away in a Terran prison, but I wasn't gonna let his serum go to waste as well. Hmm. Fancy, fancy. Not sure if seeing all that was worth 5,000 credits, though. Ah, uh, we'll make sure we saw everything. It does seem like it's a, it's a fancy trip. 
Did I see this one? I did. Hey, thankfully we got a free ticket then, huh? That guy was a real bro. This kind of reminds me of the book from Nier. Frog, you'll Nier. That's what this is. Why is there some crying kid around here? It's kind of freaking me out. Okay, that was... that was great. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye now. <laughs> I can almost not smell the decay. Oh, fancy little place. Beverage dispenser out of order. We can go down here. to make everyone believe I'm living my best life. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Yes. Yeah, we gotta put everything on Instagram and social media. Otherwise, it's all fake. It's not real. We are hiring on the mining rigs if you're looking for work. Someone's gotta keep this place up and running. Got a job. Thanks. Just gotta convince our pal to join back. Dealer is fast. I lost track of the right away. Want to get out of here? We can watch. But we're not playing. We need units. We have to base base port exit fee. Looking to make a few extra units. There are spaceport exit fees? Do I have to worry about that? Do I have to worry about that? Looking for something in particular. I might be able to help. Uh, no, thanks. I'm trying to keep it on the straight and narrow. Terran detected. Alter sales profile to 5 r 6 tf Step right up, step right up. Easy money. Did that guy just switch his profile to me, specifically? You there, Captain. Hi. Mmm. -hmm. Afternoon, Captain Todd. Gotta read the midway. Ready to try your luck, or is it skill? Couldn't be simpler. Find the ball, win the pariahs. What do you say? This isn't one of those games where I have no chance of winning, is it? Captain. Captain, Captain. Don't you know your onions, Captain? The good Bolshevik cleaned up the boardwalk. No griff, no graft, no cheats, no cons, no sir. So I can win. How about this, Captain? We play a friendly low stakes game just to prove that I'm on the up to What do you say, Captain? What do you say? He sounds like one of those people at the carnival. That's when he's he was switching the his profile. Twenty five units. Okay. Fine. I'm in, but don't try anything funny. Not me, Captain. Not me. I run my game straight as an arrow. See the balls in this cup. Now keep your eyes glued as it moves. All right, all right. The cups are set. Make your choice, Captain. Uh, the middle one. Hmm? Well, I'll be. You got it, Captain. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. You got a sharp pair of peepers. Here's your winnings. <gasps> See, my game's on the level and plumb true. A game of chance means you always have a chance to win. I guess you're right. Sharp as attack, Captain. How about we play again? Maybe raise the stakes just a smidgen? How much? That can't be right. We just spent 25 units and got a thousand units. Ah, uh, I feel like this is a bad idea. <laughs> but bad ideas is my middle name. Start shuffling. And get what, 1500? Oh, 
what confidence. That's what I like to see. Keep your eye on the cup with the bowel. Here we go, Captain. Is he gonna make it super? Oh, uh... the ball's in the middle. No! Oh, no, that's too bad, Captain. Looks like you lose. She was positive that's where the ball was. The eyes play tricks. Sometimes the mind can't keep up. Something tells me it's not my eyes playing tricks. A nasty Bob, Captain. Thanks for the latest. Have your Oh my fun God! Day. Hey, wait! Come back here. You son of a... We lost 1,500! 500, 525. Not the worst, I guess, but how did it go from 25 units to a 1,500 units in one bet? Are you kidding me? Now he left, too. Oh. I hate everybody. I hate everybody. Garbage can. Wormhole waste receptacle. Do not stick appendages in can. Keep nowhere clean. What's the deal with this ridge thing? I don't know. I guess it's some kind of art. I like it. I wonder if they sell smaller versions of it in a gift shop somewhere. We can look around a bit more. Just give me a few ticks. I have no idea where we are. Hi. Blooms of Maclu do not water. Ah, this goes back to the bar. Now it's open. Matt Lowe's bar. Ah, so that was the, the review for the place. Yeah. D-class speeder. Short-range speeder vehicle. Minimal galactic thrust. Not recommended for space travel. Oh, once we scan something, they seem to appear a little bit clearer. That emporium was what I hmm. But the frog was alive, wasn't it? It might have been, or maybe it was some kind of a taxidermy thing. <laughs> Did I... Did I look around? Yeah, that's a seer square. That's where we came from. I wonder if we'll come across Mantis again. I want to look at that. Spirit tree. Unclassified biological organism, there is no explanation as to why this tree grows in the middle of a hollowed skull of the celestial. Nor why its sap is so refreshing. Ew. That's kinda... Oh god, what? Ooh, a one-armed bandit. Hard to say, but it looks like it's almost ready to pay out. Oh, ah, let's look around at other stuff first. No, no, I'm not going to be irresponsible. Plus, I bet Gamora is watching me right now. Yeah, this isn't just my money, you know. This is the team's money. People will get mad if I spend it on everything. <laughs> They're done with piracy, they say. When's that guy gonna come back out? I wanna ask for my money back. You must have a good nose. All I can smell is the brains. Please tell me the dripping is not like brain matter or something. You must hate it here then. Ooh. Oh no. Okay, so this was a bug then. Let's see if reloading fixes this. 
All right, there we go. Overhead, Ruby Thursday. Lip, baby, I'm pleased to see our numbers trending up. And to think you thought you were finished after that business on Malilia. Didn't I tell you there was more money in exotic materials than you'd ever make in your dingy flop house? Won't be long before every elder in the galaxy is asking for their pound of flesh, and we'll be the ones to provide it. Keep it up and that moon will be ours in no time. I'm counting on you. Yours, Rubes. Wait, is this that partner in animal husbandry that Lipless was talking about earlier? My Lilia, I thought that was like a person. Like, hey, my Lilia, don't don't mess with my Lilia, my my girlfriend named Lilia. <laughs> no, Ma Lilia is a place. Oh, okay. <laughs> she just calls him Lip for short. Wait, where'd the tree go? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, we're like underneath now. What the heck? This is like the back alleyways. Even though the entire place is already kind of like a back alley. This is a fighting spot. Oh? Don't mind if I do. Thank y'all very much. Awesome. Why are there so many like random little explosives here? <laughs> Not allowed to shoot here. It's a peaceful civilian place. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there's stuff above us. <laughs> That's all we get. I don't even know what's going on down there. Of all the places, we could choose to make a, a habitat. We choose this weird cranial cavity. I thought this goes back to where the tree was. Oh. This is where we gotta go. The tree specifically? What's wrong, honey? You look terrible. This is a place to forget your troubles. Got one thing left to do, and then I plan on doing some serious forgetting. If I see you again later, I'll buy you a drink. Mmm. It's a date. Oh. Whoa, look at her. She's got pink eyeballs. Peter adjusting remarkably well, huh? Because it seems like the humans haven't even integrated into the galaxy for that long. This is where the kids are? You guys have been making noise for ages. Aww. What? Are you kidding? Oh my! Hey. Oh, this is turning into a real scut day. Okay, I'm not. I'm not touching anything. I'm not touching anything anymore. What the hell? <sighs> I'm so mad. I am so mad. Those pickpocketing thieves. <sighs> Savage vultures. Awful children. Got lots on the grill, local stuff, and exotic meals from as far away as Maclufor. No, no, we're getting dangerously close to like not being able to afford anything. <laughs> hey there. Look at you, barely skin and bones, moping your way through the market. Better have a hot bite, it'll make you feel better. So, you hungry or what? I'm hungry, but I don't get to choose to use all my money like this. No, thanks. I filled up on protein paste earlier. All the required daily nutrition. None of the flavor. You won't catch me eating beige. I'll be here all rotation if you change your mind. Ew, look at the stuff in the back. There's like worms and stuff. That looks like some yummy fish though. Not the one on the ground. Ew. Ah. Uh. 
If there really is gonna be like a spaceport leaving fee later, I'm gonna be angry. Let's try to keep our money above 7,000 just in case for the fines and all that. How do I get over there? Where is the place that we're trying to go to specifically? <laughs> what is this? No! Maybe a gaudy bauble will make me feel better. No, 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 enough. We used enough. It, it's... <laughs> eh, better not. I'd have to carry it around with me all day. They're trying so hard to give me reasons to use all of my money. But Corral's gonna be angry at me, okay? I don't want her to be angry. What am I looking at? Drax. Whoa. This is still inside the celestial being. Drax, bud. Is everything all right? Do you believe that this is the edge of the universe, Peter Quill? Well, yeah, because it is. Really? So, uh, this is the thing you had to do? Come to the observation deck to look at the rift? No. I came to honor the memory of my family. They died without meaning. Or honor. I think I know what you mean, man. My mom wouldn't the uh, Shatara game. She also died for no reason. They just... shot her. But at least she's in a better place now. Right? In Katathian religion, we believe that in order to reach Ultaf, one must lead a life filled with purpose. Failure to do so results in banishment to Sarduth. Our families have been cast out of paradise, Peter Quill, and into nothing. I don't want him to think his family is worthless. But I don't want to be like, hey, I know more about your religion than you. Uh, are, are you okay? So that's why you come up here. Yes. To feel close to them. Speak to them. Perhaps you think that sounds foolish. No, no. Not at all. You know, on Earth, a lot of people think that good people go to heaven and are reunited with their loved ones when they die. This heaven sounds pleasant. Yeah, it does. Thinking of her there, my mom, in heaven, it got me halfway through the war. That and my hate for the Shatari who imprisoned me. Uh. You desired revenge. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. When Thanos murdered my family, for a long time I believed that their wasted lives would be redeemed if I took revenge on him. But then I realized Thanos cannot be killed. But you did kill him. Propaganda, Peter Quill. Spread to cool oh. fears after the war. The fabric of my being, I know he still lives. If you do not mind, Peter Quill, I would like to be left alone now. Oh, uh, 
Yeah, sure, man. Peter Quill. Yeah. I hope your mother found her way to heaven. Hmm. We've all lost a lot. Right now we seem like a band of idiots, but we live through the war, and everybody who's lived through the war has experienced a whole ton. Is that really supposed to be the edge of the universe? How are we so close to it that we can see it? Wow. Oh, not this again. Welcome to the end of the line. All time, matter and space will eventually find its way into the rift and become nothing. Take a moment to stare into the abyss, bask in how ultimately meaningless this whole reality experiment has been, and perhaps your current troubles will disappear. Once you've finished, be sure to purchase the ticket to the Collector's Emporium to witness more cosmic oddities. Thanks. Okay. Wonder if we can find other people around here. I don't know where Gamora walked off to. Our party members do look a little bit different in this mode. The pink? So maybe if I look around for pink. I want to get the thing below the stairs. Thank you very much. I'm so scared of talking to anybody now. What if I lose more money? <laughs> thing that can heal pain is time. I have heard the words, and I know what is coming. We should celebrate! Ah, uh, this is the security tower. This is where we're trying to go. Fulcrum Point of Nowhere security efforts extends from Celestial's brainstem. That's so specific. So we go through there. Okay. I wanna just have a look around. Yeah, there's more. I wanna go back up. Well, Rocket and Groot are just off somewhere else. It's bigger than it was anyway. What's the point of worrying about something we cannot change? Yeah, that's true. Spend your time worrying about stuff that you can control. Lousy panel got overloaded. There should be scorch marks, but I don't see anything. I realized long ago I should stay away from wires. There's something strange happening here. My power readings are off the charts, but this thing looks dead. What are you looking at? This thing? Something on the ground. The rift. Welcome to the end of the line. No, 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 it's the same bug again. Egghead reviews spirit tree. Eggy noob again. The Asgardians refer to Yggdrasil as a tree of life, but whatever supposed life-giving properties it might have pale in comparison to the spirit tree of Nowhere Station. For what is metaphysical has been made real in a delicious and economical cocktail worthy of Odin himself. Tucked away from the main drag, the spirit tree is innocuous at first. It pulsates with the thrum of Nowhere and the rift beyond, a silent testament to life and death captured in a surprisingly clean glass. It is no wonder, then, that the spirit tree of Nowhere Station is its best-kept secret and a must-stop to all intrepid 
explorers. Six out of five skulls. Just a review. <laughs> hey, so I restarted the game and uh, the kids are back. That's why we're hearing... Oh. That's why we're hearing the kids giggling again. But my money is gone. So I'm not going to go interact with them again. <laughs> I did check at the food place. Oh, look at that. Oh, frankly, my jacket is nicer. <clears throat> Screw you, children. Screw you. Uh, I believe... Oh, but I do believe back here, there was another sign that I missed, which I'm guessing is probably going to screw up the game again, but I read the thing already, so hopefully this is not going to mess it up. There were two. I read this one. I didn't read this one. Can I just read it without, like, opening it up? Is that okay? I want to, but Peter's blocking it. <laughs> okay, that works. The rift. Welcome to the end of the line. Oh, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same one as the one next to it. I see. Okay. Well, we should be ready then. I did try looking around a little bit, and I don't think Gamora's walking anywhere around here. What is that? D-class speeder. There's something there. What happens if I fall down? Maybe we gotta go around. Pretty sure we had 8,500 after the kids robbed us, right? Maybe I could use something to eat. I knew it! Some say the mind is a being's most important organ. But I know it's the stomach. Or stomachs, depending. Now, what can I get you? Sure, you wanna you wanna appease all of your customers? Make sure you're not accidentally talking about just one race? No, thank you. On second thought, no. I'll be here all rotation if you change your mind. Thanks, but no thanks. Alright, Cosmo. I feel like we walked around the entire nowhere, but we haven't seen Rocket's guy yet. But we don't know him though. I hope Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. See suit. Nowhere security. Super official. Go out the way. Ali, Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo, not in tower. He out there, Star Lord. In Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo Prison. You choose. I have a bad feeling about this. You gonna block me? You have brain rot. Told you before, you not take bridge. Cosmo doing outside things in Ali. They're gonna rob me in the alley. Look, they're just chilling out and dancing in there. Cosmo in alley. Go away. Fine, fine. I'll have my gun ready. Atmospherically very cool. Maybe a little bit too cool. Water purification tank. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's a mirror. I thought there was a way here. Actually, this is... Are we seeing what's behind the mirror? Because there isn't... What the hell? Hmm. Easier to see like this in the dark, actually. Alright, who wants to rob me? I'm ready.
Really feels like they're taking a few cues from Life is Strange. Square Enix and all that. Oh! What was that? The way we turn on the visor is kind of cool. We just press it and then this shield forms around my face. Very fast. Cosmo. Alleyway thugs. Hello? Oh god, what is that? We're just so used to like seeing random stuff in the universe that we don't know. Because our galaxy has so many different species and people and whatever going on here. Cosmo! You in here? Cosmo! Sure, not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Ew! They want the brain tissue. Like Gamora says, it's valuable for something. Ugh. Okay, just gotta find Cosmo. Then I can deal with the team, if I can find them. You guys don't have cell phones? Peter, there's something out there. But I won't tell you what it is, because I think being distant makes me mysterious. <laughs> Let's go this way. <laughs> Whatever that. Cosmo, that you? Oh, I hate mazes, especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude, deep breath, deep breath. I saw nothing. I'm not following no shadow. This is the celestial being's brain. Oh my god, how big were they? Holy crap. Way bigger than Lady Hellbender. Look at you, Flarkin Humey. Bet you end up inside one of them processing machines. What would a Groot impression be like? I am Groot? <laughs> Flark! I'm gonna give myself a heart attack. A block of brain? We're gonna get into a fight, man. Cosmo! Cosmo! This upgrade is so useful. I love it. Oh, Wonder if we should have gone back to the other places in the maze. I don't want to go back though. It stinks. Ew! What the hell? What the- it's like- Is it being turned into paste? Ew. I say ew, but I'm actually salivating right now. Subconsciously. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Oh, the guy from earlier! That's not good. Look at what we got here. Okay, there's multiple. Watch it, Star Lord. And what's a filthy scut stained Terran doing out here, Rosen? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Why? Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that. We might be into that. 
Except for the bounty. Hey, guys, wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. <laughs> Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? Uh, I heart nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star-Lord. Either way. Get him! <laughs> Why do I have a bounty on me? Is it just the normal, typical bounty? The Blood Brothers. We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, <laughs> uh, lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted. So hurry up and die. Wait, did Lady Ace want him alive? Did. <laughs> uh, uh, Lady H, whatever Lady Hailbender's paying you, I'll double it. No, this dice. isn't working. You don't cross Lady H. Uh, the triple. Uh oh, I'll triple it. Yeah, now, Ross. This isn't working at all. Like it's not hurting them. Rawson, separate from brother to disable armor. Capitalize on damage while armor disabled. Hot temper can be baited into charging. Garrick, separate from brother. Capitalize on damage. Maybe we well, sit armor. down and have a choga dog. Talk this over. Get loud mouth, Terran. How do I get them to separate though? One can be baited into charging. It's boot blanket time. Both of them can be. So I gotta stand a little bit closer, maybe. Can we just talk about this? That's how we make our units. Gotta separate them a little bit more. Gotta snap him in two. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks, but we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. Hey! Thanks, girl. Peter, shoot now! We need to keep them separated! Draw them apart before shooting, Peter! Look out, Peter! Wait, wait. I'll enjoy this! That armor comes out whenever they're close! Oh, I can't! I knew something was up from the start! Gonna be rich when we get paid! Gamora, keep the other one preoccupied. Incoming ugly! Now they're starting to separate a little bit. No, stop being together, guys. Now this is almost a fair fight. Got to swap two flies instead of one. Is that helping at all? Am I ever glad to see you? Maybe it's won't this one too. I don't like teamwork, but it's on the other side. Take it, Derek. Go. He's on his game. Drax! Miss us? We're making progress. We're making progress. This has got my name on it. Toss him around. Knife to me, you. Death has come. Got some of you stuck on the roof. They grow strong together. Let us split them apart. Uh, 
Right. Let's see how you two deal with a fair fight. Guys, huddle up! It's a little bit sad. We only have two team members right now. I've got this one, Peter. Let me end it. My blade will not be silent, murderess. Call me that again and I'll murder you. I am not the enemy, traitor. <laughs> guys, guys, chill out. Stop fighting each other. We'll win this together. Just focus on the enemy in front of us. Chill out and share the winning with all of us. So who's with me? Today, I Let's am the destroyer. Let's do this. Yeah. No, 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 no. Armor is for cowards. Oh, none of that. None of that. Break his bone. This you one is primed like for punishment. Keep the herd coming. Okay, come on. Come charge. Come charge. Don't just stand there. This destruction is just what I needed. Just waiting for you to finish them off. Meet your maker. Come on. All right. What the? Peter! What is happening? What? I killed one of them. Is it my gun again? Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. We can't escape our past. We eventually gotta go deal with it. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for grandma and grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Mm, why did you have to go and say that? Yeah, we've seen all of this already. What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Ugh, Mom. Well, I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but... Something has changed. And now more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Son, your dad is an alien. Oh. Wow. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. Well, we know now. So maybe the gun... is linked to me genetically somehow, and then it feeds off how I feel? What sort of enemies? I'm not sure exactly. His people were at war. And he knew that if he stayed with us, the war would follow him to Earth. So, he made the hard choice. He gave up this life for the sake of his people. Your father left to protect us. 
and for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really wanted to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're going to have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm going to let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. I thought my dad abandoned me, but mom's still speaking fondly of him. <laughs> Certainly did abandon me while I was in prison. Ho ho! Sick! Maybe it only <sighs> works with someone in the bloodline. Oh shit. <gasps> no! Oh. Wait, was that because they noticed the gun? Because I sent out some kind of a signal, or was that just coincidental? Oh, this is the one time in my childhood when the guns combined together, probably. What are these things, Mom? Something must have happened to your father. I just wish your father was here to help us. What? How could he help? No. Thank <laughs> you. 